Hey y'all, Nico here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thanks for joining me. I'm Nico. Today I'm back with another chakra practice for you. This practice is a short throat chakra practice. You guys always express how much you love my chakra videos. So I've kind of tried to make some that are a little bit shorter because the original ones I have range between 20 and 30 minutes. So hopefully this one can be good for you if you're in a little bit more of a time crunch but you still want to get a chakra practice in. So we'll come to a seated position and begin by closing our eyes or lowering our gaze. And since we are activating the throat chakra today, I want to try to work into that ujjayi breath. I have an ujjayi breath tutorial if you don't quite know how to do ujjayi breath, but we want to keep our mouth closed and create some texture in the back of the throat like we are imitating a snoring sound, but just a little bit lighter, not as heavy. Or inhale. Exhale, keep your mouth closed, but exhale audibly. So as if you're about to fog up a window, but your mouth is closed. Let's move into a couple more rounds of Ujjayi breath. on your next inhale come back to your natural breath and let's start rotating our head to the right side doing some neck rolls inhale back and exhale forward moving with your breath so as we move through our throat chakra practice will be doing poses where the chest is open, where the head falls back. So just be sure to listen to your body throughout. And let's do the same thing, moving to the left. Inhale back, exhale forward. Bring your head back to a neutral position. Float your body up to a table pose. Knees underneath hips, hands underneath shoulders. Tops of the feet are flat. And we're going to extend our arms out in front towards the top of our mat. Inhale, exhale. Keep your gaze forward as you lower your chest and your chin down towards the ground for puppy pose, keeping the tailbone flipped upward. You can stay here. If you want a little more, you can bring those hands together and bring them behind the head or towards behind the head. Again, keeping that gaze forward, opening up that throat chakra. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands back down to the ground. And come back to a table pose. Bring those big toes together, knees out wide. Float your hips back towards your heels. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, melt down for a child's pose. Inhale in your child's pose. Exhale, float your body back to your table pose, and then we'll move into down dog, tucking the toes under. Lift the hips up and back. You can also stay down on the knees and extend your arms out for puppy pose instead of down dog. Let's pedal our feet out a little bit. 
take a breath or two. Bring your gaze up in between your hands on your next inhale. And then step the feet up behind the hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, melt down to a forward fold. Go ahead and tuck that chin down to the chest, looking up towards the navel. Again, just incorporating and activating that throat chakra. Bring a nice bend into your knees. Roll up to standing. Bring those arms with you. Inhale. Let the hands meet up above you. Exhale, the hands to heart center. And then release the hands down to your sides. From here, we're going to interlace the fingers behind our body. Roll the shoulders back and down. And then lift those hands behind you as much as you can. And let the head fall back, coming to a standing locust pose. Again, we're letting the head fall back in some of these poses as we try to activate that throat chakra. Inhale, exhale, release. Step back with the left foot coming out to a wide stance. Back foot may be parallel with the back edge of the mat or at a 45 degree angle. Bring the arms out wide. Lower that back hand down. Put the front palm upward. Come up and back for a reverse triangle. Inhale. Exhale, bring those arms back out wide. Bend into the front knee, aligning it over your ankle. Flip the front palm upward and rest the forearm above the knee as you extend the left arm up towards the sky for extended side angle. Then you can extend it over the ear or you can find a bind here, bending that arm behind your back, bringing the gaze up towards the sky. Inhale, exhale, take the hands, bring them down on either side of the foot, come to a lunge position, and then step that left foot up to meet the right, falling back down to your fourth fold. Roll up to standing, bring those arms with you. Inhale. Exhale, the hands to heart center and down to your sides. From here, take those fingers, interlace them behind you, lifting those arms up, let the head fall back. Inhale, exhale, release. Step back with the right foot, coming to that wide stance, left toes face forward back foot parallel or 45 degree angle right hand rests on the right leg left arm comes up and back reverse triangle inhale exhale bring the arms out wide bend into that left knee flip the left palm upward rest it above the knee right arm extends up towards the sky over the ear or you find a bind here and again if you can bring that gaze up towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, bring a hand down on either side of the foot and step that right foot up to meet the left. Coming back down to your forward fold, gaze up towards the navel. Take an inhale. Exhale, plant the hands down in front of the feet. Step back to a plank position and then lower it all the way down to your belly. Now from here, we're going to bring the tops of our feet flat into the ground. Let your arms rest at your sides, palms facing upward. And then we're going to roll those shoulders back. Reach back, let the palms face each other. Press your pelvis into the ground. And if you can, lift those legs as well, coming to a locust pose. Gaze is straight forward. Inhale. Exhale, release, stack those hands. 
Let the forehead rest on the hands. Let's do that one more time. Arms come to our sides. Press the pelvis into the ground. Roll the shoulders back. Let the arms reach behind you, palms facing each other. And then lift the legs if you decide to. Inhale. And exhale. Stack the hands, rest the forehead down. From here, bring the hands underneath the shoulders, pressing your body back to a child's pose. This time, let your knees be close together as you float your hips back towards your heels. Let your arms relax at your sides, and then melt your body on top of the legs here. Inhale, exhale, float your body back upward. And we're going to extend our legs out in front, so however you get there is fine. From here, we will float our body back until we are resting on our forearms. And then we'll just let the head fall back, coming to fish pose. If you want a little more, you can let the head bend all the way back until the top of the head meets the ground. Just be careful here, protecting your neck. Take an inhale, exhale, make your way back up to a seated position. Sweep your arms up, inhale. Exhale, lead with the chest and reach forward. Come down to a seated forward bend, letting your hands fall wherever they fall. And then after you get there, go ahead and tuck your chin down towards your chest. And you can pull your body closer to your legs if you'd like. This is a good alternative for a plow pose, if plow pose is difficult for you. And you can also move into plow pose right now. Inhale. Exhale, come back up to a seated position. Go ahead and bring your feet flat on the ground. If you want to lay down in your Shavasana, you can do that now as we prepare to move into Shavasana, just lowering down towards the back. Or you can stay in a seated position, a comfortable seat. Bring your hands to rest on your knees. You can lower your gaze or close your eyes. And we'll come back to our Ujjayi breath for a couple of breaths. Really focusing on that ocean breath sound we're making here. allow your body to be fully relaxed in your Shavasana. Letting the body be heavier with each out breath. And I'm going to say some affirmations to you. And you can repeat them silently to yourself. I speak truth, love, and life. I express myself openly and clearly.
I am learning and growing through communication. Take one final breath, breathing in those affirmations. And then begin, begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Coming back into the room. And roll over onto your favorite side, using your arm as a pillow. Taking a moment to reflect and to show yourself some gratitude for this practice today. When you're ready, come up to a comfortable seated position. And together we'll sweep the arms up, letting the hands meet up above us in prayer. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Namaste. Well, that completes our short chakra, throat chakra yoga practice. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you think about this practice, what you would like to see next. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Peace and love.